one of the things we do as physicians and nurses, people who take care of patients, is we try to apply the best science and the best knowledge we have to the care of our patients with the idea that we would like them to have the best possible outcomes. And, you know, over the years, we've learned that it's not just the medical outcomes, you know, it's not just survival or it's not just recovery that matter, but it's, it's also important that the patient experience be a good one. And uh, about 15 years ago, uh, CMS, which is the governmental agency in charge of Medicare and Medicaid, put together a survey tool that allows the hospital to get feedback from its patients about how the patient experience went. And that's called the HCAPS survey, which stands for Hospital Consumer Assessment of Care Survey. So in our study, it was very, very encouraging to discover that be, I think because of the way we deliver care and trauma, using a team approach led by a well-trained, experienced surgeon, the patients actually ranked us higher than you might have expected in terms of satisfaction. Of course, nurses uniformly come out as the most highly ranked, and that's because they have so much contact with the patients. They're there frequently. They provide compassionate, thoughtful care. But in the case of the trauma patients, and to a lesser degree, the emergency surgical patients that we take care of, the trauma surgeon came in as number two after the nurses. So there's something specific about the way the trauma doctors are delivering their care that makes it an important part of the satisfaction scoring that is provided by our patients. We've had over the years difficulty convincing leadership in the hospital that the trauma service is a very positive thing. For many people in the hospital leadership, it's an important mission of the hospital, but they wouldn't expect that to contribute to a positive patient experience. Because again, you're dealing with injured people. Sometimes they're injured under questionable circumstances. And so it is, I think it's very meaningful to present this information. It makes the, I think the trauma surgeons and their teams feel good about what they're doing. So it reinforces that practice. Whatever it is they're doing is a good thing. It helps our colleagues in the hospital administration appreciate the fact that being in the hospital 24 hours, seven days a week, working closely with the patients and their families and being the, the leader of a team that is con a constant in the eyes of the patient and their family, uh, being communicative, being compassionate, understanding the patient's circumstances and working with them and their family. Something about that combination is driving up the importance in terms of patient satisfaction in trauma care much more so than it does in elective surgery or in medical patients. On a personal note, being a trauma surgeon myself and having been in practice for um, a long time, let's say, I, I must say I was very pleasantly surprised to see that trauma surgeons ended up occupying the number two spot in terms of influ influencing patient satisfaction. All doctors, all nurses, everybody who takes care of patients works very hard. And in, tr in the trauma world, we've always felt that we didn't get uh, perhaps enough support, enough funding, enough attention. But I think all of my colleagues in trauma surgery and in nursing would agree that probably the greatest reward for any one of us is when the patients say thank you and are appreciative of the care we've given. It probably is the most uh, fulfilling part of our work. And so it was very nice to be able to see that in, uh, in terms of data hard and fast data from a very important survey tool that's been widely validated, is widely accepted as uh, uh, accurate and reliable.